Hey guys, if you stream your gameplay to Twitch or YouTube in OBS Studio or just screencast in Simple Screen Recorder, you may notice that some system resources are being consumed by video encoding, leaving you with a small amount left over for the actual gameplay, causing glitches and lowering your FPS rate. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, I have good news for you. Now you can encode video using your graphics card, uploading this compute-intensive task from the CPU. I'm going to show you how to install and activate this feature in Debian. I want to thank one of my subscribers for requesting this video. Before we start, make sure you have NVIDIA drivers installed properly. If you are not sure, watch my video on how to do that. I'll put the link in the description below. The next step is to install the necessary codecs. The easiest way of doing that is by installing smplayer. You can do that in the terminal using this command. You'll need administrative rights for that. Now let's install the NVIDIA NVENC feature with this command. If you don't have OBS Studio or a simple screen recorder, you can install them using those commands. Both of them are in the official Debian repositories. Let's open OBS Studio. You need to accept the terms of the license agreement, which is totally fine because it's GNU GPL open source license. First, I'm going to record this screen in the old mode. So let's add screen capture as a source. Then press start recording. Note the CPU load, it's around 26%. Let me stop the recording and enable hardware-supported video encoding. You need to go to Settings, Output. For encoder option, choose Hardware, NVENC. Make sure you have MP4 format selected. Press OK and start recording. So now we barely have CPU loaded, it's around 8%. This new encoding option gave us at least three times more performance boost. This is a real game changer, no puns intended. If you don't stream gameplay and just want to screencast, you would probably prefer a simple screen recorder. Let's activate our new encoding feature there too. Click continue and set the screen parameters that you need. Hit continue one more time. Choose mp4 as a container. Then choose where you want to save the output file. From the codec list, choose Other. Then from the codec name list, you should choose H264NVENC. Make sure it's this exact name. The program also has NVENC H264. It's basically the same with the words flipped. This is an old deprecated version. So we need the new H264NVENC. Press Continue. Then start recording. By the way, if you want me to make a detailed video tutorial about OBS Studio or Simple Screen Recorder, let me know in the comments. I hope this video helps you to improve the quality of your streams and screencasts. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. See you later!